Because you're always trying to, every time anything happens in the NFL, you somehow tie it to Derek Carr. You sent me this text. <laughs> Jesus. You sent me this text. And it's true. You do this. Let me ask you. Would the Bengals ever have gotten to where they are now if they didn't move on from Andy Dalton? Remember, Andy Dalton was the you know the quarterback for years for the Bengals. Mm-hmm. They went to the playoffs every year, never got past the first round. Um, there was time there with talent, Marvin Lewis, but um, you know never got over the hump, never did anything in the playoffs. They gave it a good run. They knew what they had wasn't good enough. And even though they didn't have an immediate replacement that was better, they chose to move on. And this is a really good conversation. Like You really got me thinking with this one. Mm-hmm. Um, because obviously it worked out for the Bengals. It worked out. They're the freaking Super Bowl after going four eleven and one last season, and they went. They had the number one pick. What was their record? Two and fourteen before that, like bad enough. Yeah, to get two, the, like two two wins. Two, yeah, two right, two wins enough to get the number one overall pick. Right, so they went from the worst team in football to the Super Bowl in two seasons. Right, amazing turnaround. And you're like, well, if the Bengals can do it. Why can't the Raiders do it? Why can't we trade Carr and, and and start from scratch at quarterback and try to find a Joe Burrow? And right? I want to make this clear before you go any further. I wasn't advocating for this. I was just throwing questions out there like, hey, this is what other okay. teams have done. That This is like proof pudding. This is what they did. They had to move on from a quarterback who went to the playoffs multiple times. Like this is you've what advocated, you've advocated for this before. I have, but not at this case. Not in this okay. case. I just okay. want to say that. Okay, okay. Move, please continue. So the you know the long running theme for you, Soto, is let's let's move on from Carr and find the guy, right? Joe Burrow and the and the Bengals, Bengals were able to do it. Why can't the Raiders do it? Well, a couple things. Um, one, if I had the number one overall pick in in twenty nineteen, I would have taken Joe Burrow too, right? I think even the the most diehard Derek Carr fans, if you had Joe freaking Burrow. A guy that shattered every NFL passing record. A guy that was a national champion. He was a clear-cut, once-in-a-generation draft pick, right? Even the most diehard Derek Carr fans would be like, yeah, let's draft Joe Burrow, right? Worst, worst case scenario, we draft him, and we, we go with Carr, and we trade him, right? Or we draft him, and we trade Carr, right? Like, it's, you've got... What do we say all the time about what the Raiders don't do well? They fall in love with dudes and they draft who they want as opposed to drafting the value of the position. Mm-hmm. Joe Burrow is worth, mul- as we know now, right now, he's mul- worth multiple first-round draft picks, right? Like, mm-hmm. you get three, four first-round draft picks for Joe Burrow right now, right? So you, you draft him whether he starts or not, right? So they one, they needed to have the first overall pick at the exact right time for a generational quarterback. Two, he panned out. Like, we, we've seen quarterbacks that we thought would be the next big thing and not pan out. Two, he's panning out. Mm-hmm. Three, he's got basically three number one wide receivers. He's got a lot of weapons, right? Not to mention a great running back. And out of nowhere, the Bengals got really good in free agency. Like, it was insane. All these guys they picked up that panned out, it was nuts. And then, oh, yeah, by the way, they've got another once-in-a-generation wide receiver, the next draft, who played with Joe Burrow, who they picked up. So the long story short, so to answer your question, I believe I texted with you is like, yes, the Bengals proved that the Raiders could, there is a plan that you can follow and replicate. But the problem is 87 things have to go right in, in exactly the right order. And for the Bengals, it did. They got the right guy. He panned out. They had the right pick. They got the right pick the next time. All the free agents worked out. All the offensive jived. The 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 quarterback and, and, the, and the head coach all jived. Like, it worked. And, and credit to the Bengals. They put all of their money on, on black 23 at the roulette table and black 23 hit. And now they're in the Super Bowl, okay? I'm just saying, to pull off what the Bengals pulled off, it's more than just get rid of car and get another guy that we think's good. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of things have to go right. And it just so happened to work for the Bengals. Very hard to replicate. If what, if, if what you have, is going to be just as big a crap shoot to build around than starting over with a, a rookie quarterback. It's all, it all depends on your philosophy. Mm-hmm. Would it be easier to start over with a younger quarterback because you're paying them less because that one position makes so much of your cap if you have to pay them more 
It all depends on your philosophy moving forward. It all depends on your front office and how you feel about that. What, what, what pieces do you have to build around on the squad already? Because ultimately, when they decided to make that decision, they also drafted T. Higgins in that same draft that they got mm-hmm. Joe Burrow. So when they decided to make that decision, they only had Tyler Boyd, who was kind of a, not really a guy that they were really throwing to at the time. Mm-hmm. So in that same Joe, they got Joe Burrow in the first round, T. Higgins in the second round. So and they both panned out. They both panned out very well. T. Higgins is a fucking. Just baby. give us one of your wide receivers, damn it, baby. One of them, got please. Three. We have you don't one. need all three. Just give us one. And they had Come Joe on. Mixon, who was kind. Of, he got was kind of hurt early in early on. Early, excuse me, a little, little easy for me to say. Early on in his career, uh, they made a, a controversial pick, which at the time they said, "Oh, you need to get protect protect your quarterback, protect your quarterback." And it's like you know, one another question that I posed to you was. We always said, you know, Carr gets hit too much. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a line. He doesn't have a defense. Joe Burrow made it to the Super Bowl, being sacked the most sacked quarterback with the seventeenth ranked defense to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. You know, Carr made it to the playoffs twice. Like, should he have gone more often if he was at least close to being the guy? When Joe Burrow's going to the Super Bowl in his second year. His first full year. Well, look again. Everything went right in Cincinnati. Yeah, I mean, to happen, but right? and again, that's my point. Is like, are you going to risk like the lotto? You can't win if you don't play. Okay, but there's also the flip side. Like, look of all the franchises that have floundered for years or even decades because they took a swing at quarterbacks that never landed. You got like the Bears, the Browns. Uh, the Broncos, uh, the the Colts are a Super Bowl for the Broncos are a Super Bowl team. But they don't have a quarterback. Mm-hmm. The Colts, Super Bowl team, don't have a quarterback. Giants, no quarterback. Like again, like okay, it's like you're looking at the the one amazing success story that was one in a, not one in a million, but like it like very 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 lucky it all panned out. And then you look at the other ten teams in the NFL that have no quarterback and they're nowhere. Mm-hmm. That's the other part. Like, okay, they, 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 they played the lotto and they won, but there's a one in 10 chance or one in 20 chance or whatever the number is. It's not good. You're mm-hmm. much more likely to end up like the Broncos or the Colts or the bears or the giants. than you are to end up like the Bengals and look and, and with Derek Carr, like they're improving every year, right? They went from four wins to seven wins to eight wins to 10 trending in the right direction you're very very high on this new regime right with mcdiggler uh, mcdiggler mcdiggler i met in porn stars easy now. <laughs> mcdiggler actually actually look actually they went from two wins to four wins to eight wins to 12 wins to four wins to you know so let's just be real oh, like where they've gone yeah. okay that's how they've gone 